creators, Casey here. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to do a DIY video of some rave gear that um, this is something that I made for this past EDC and it's just a belt with some like reflective material on the sides that look really really pretty when you're like twirling around, shuffling, it looks like two wings on the side but yeah let's get into the video. Hello! So I'm just looking at the video that I made and I'm just gonna tell you what's going on. So usually when I start off with an outfit, especially if it's a little complex, there's like a lot of elements that you have to need, need to pay attention to, so I like drawing it out. I don't know. I, I love drawing and I feel like it visually gives you like the whole picture and sometimes it, like you're kind of lazy to just put everything on, right? So I think drawing is like a good way to kind of like plan out the thing and so here's me just trying to draw out what I think visually I want it to look like. So this is a Nasty Gal belt that I had thrifted from Goodwill. Um, unfortunately, it was missing like the middle piece that connects the um, belt together, but no problem. Um, I made sure that I measured it around my waist. And so to double check that, I used a tape measure and then I just cut out that extra fabric in the middle. And um, that is going to be the connecting piece. Now that we have three separate pieces, we need to sew together the um, the two ends. And so I'm doing this with a needle and thread because oh, it'd be rough out here. Um, but honestly, the super small needles do not puncture well through the fake leather. So I had to grab a, a bigger needle to um, go in and out. And if you see the white material that's in between there, I used a piece of elastic just to kind of reinforce it so that it had something else to what to be sewn to. But oh my god, if you're gonna do this, just make sure that you're careful because um, you can accidentally pierce your finger, which I had done a couple times, if you can see the blood stain there. But yeah, you can use a table to like push the needle through. <laughs> A shirt that I had thrifted from Goodwill. This thing was literally four bucks. XXL from the men's section, but it's just a plain t-shirt. We're just cutting that bad boy straight down the middle. And once we have the two pieces for the two separate wings, we can kind of fold it and see how it cascades down. We're just gonna pin it for now. Now the fun part. Now we have some reflective um, iron-on material and basically I'm just cutting out any kind pattern that I want to do. I wanted to put triangles at the tips because I think it can accentuate the tips. That would look really nice and so I'm just trying to measure it and since my cutting is all over the place I have to just double check all the measurements. Basically for this part, I had no rhyme or reason for the pattern. I just kind of built as I went, which is something that I enjoy doing when I create things because, come on, it's, it's really fun if you like improv things because you discover something that you may not have planned for and it's really awesome to see that come to fruition at the end. You see me, I'm cutting off all of the, the rough edges and I did that because I'm going to use all the scraps to make a scarf at the end. We're not doing an intricate pattern here. You can just use a straight edge, you can just use your scissors, whatever you want. And I'm sticking with geometric shapes because I think that'll make everything a lot more cleaner, a lot more even, and it's it'll look more eye-catching when um, it's captured on camera. <laughs> But also, if you are feeling extra creative, you know, you can use your Cricut machine and you can design your own design. Okay, now we are going to iron it on. I would suggest putting a cloth underneath or if you have an ironing table, that, that also works. Instructions say that you have to iron the material first to kind of get it flat and it's also a little bit warm too. And you can place on your the transfer sheet on there and just go over it as many times as you would like. I think I did about maybe five times one side and then I would turn over the fabric and then I would do the back side too, just to make sure that it was extra sealed in. And then once that's done, I would recommend you letting it cool off for a little bit. Don't pull it off 
right after you iron it. I noticed that it did tug it a little bit when I didn't let it rest for a while. That's it. It's super simple using these iron-on sheets and I'll link, I'll put a link below to where I bought these from. This is the finished pattern as you can see on one side. The last step that I need to do is sew the two ends together and then make a little a little hole so that I can put a ring through it and then I can fasten it onto the belt. Some pictures from EDC that I took. Unfortunately, I forgot to take some videos, so here's a current video of what it looks like. Doesn't it look super awesome when you like twirl and stuff and shuffle? Yeah, yeah, you gotta make this your own. But honestly guys, like thrifting things and making your own rave gear is like super awesome. I think it's a great way to get creative and to just kind of like personalize a piece and say like, hey, where'd you get that from? Oh, I made this, like that, that's so awesome. I love, I love hearing that from other people. But anyways, all right. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this inspires you to make some rave gear of your own. If you can like and subscribe, that would really mean a lot to me. And I look forward to making more DIY videos for you guys because come on, we need, we need more of this, this stuff out there so that you can make some stuff too. Anyways, oh my god, that's so weird. I will catch you later, okay? Bye!